Just last week, the governor encouraged state employees and National Guard's members to become substitute teachers. Now the governor is taking that advice, becoming a substitute herself. We have 150 substitutes on our roster. 26 of those are currently in full-time assignments, so probably filling a vacant position for a long-term position. Of the remaining 124 subs on the roster, only about 30 are choosing to fill in. Since the governor announced her plan, only four people have applied in the Santa Fe School District. We're in the process of standing up an online application system specifically for National Guard and state employees, trying to streamline it as much as possible while at the same time going through the necessary steps. Eskner says the application process requires an interview, reference checks, then background checks. He says people are able to get licensed through an alternative licensure program. Individuals in the community who have a bachelor's degree or higher, of course, who may have changed careers, may have retired and want to contribute in a different way, can enter an alternative licensure program. He says they aren't just short substitutes. Right now, they have more than 60 full-time teacher vacancies and... Pretty much across the board, to be honest. It's educational assistants, it's bus drivers, it's student nutrition, it's office staff, it's my department, it's the department next door. The human resources manager says people who do decide to become substitutes have the flexibility of accepting an assignment at all different school levels. As for the governor, we're expected to hear where she will be working at later this week. Reporting in Santa Fe, Stephanie Muniz, KOAT Action 7 News. While the Santa Fe School District has only seen four applications, 87 people have volunteered to help statewide. 59 are licensed and ready to go. Of those, 46 are National Guard members, 13 are state employees. <laughs>